Good morning. I am back. It's me, Kathy, a typical 60, and I am here with a wig review for you today. Um, this review comes to you from me because it's wigs that I purchased. Now, I purchased three of the same wig. The wig vendor that I purchased from was acewigs.com. Now, a little bit of background about Ace Wigs. I think they're a very, very, very good wig vendor because they always have great sales. Now, what prompted me to buy three of the same wig was that at the time, which was a couple of weeks ago, Ace Wigs was having a buy two, get one free. And of the two that you purchased, there was still a discount on those. So I purchased three wigs for the price of, I think it was about $223 or maybe $233. Either way, three wigs for that price is pretty darn good. And these wigs are from Noriko. Now, the wig that I'm wearing is the wig that I purchased. This is Harlow. And the color that I have here is Chocolate Frost. Now, I purchased two in Chocolate Frost, and I purchased one, I think it was Creamy Toffee. Um, I will show you that other wig, um, but let's talk about this first. Now, what I love about Harlow is the length. If you can see, she comes just past the shoulders, making her not too long for the woman who wants longer hair, but doesn't want it like mermaid long. Um, personally, I don't care what length people like. I do find it offensive when I read all these articles that say that the mature woman should not wear long hair. Personally, I think this is a great, great length for the mature woman because it's just, it's not too long. It grazes just past the shoulders and it's very, very attractive. We have the layering here and the feathering at the bottom. The only thing, and it's not really an issue, it's just kind of like one of those things where a lot of wigs have this kind of like problem. The front keeps falling down like this. So eventually I'm just going to have to train this hair to just go to the side more. I can use hairspray and I can actually cut more of a bang in here. So I'm kind of unsure of what to do. Regardless, this is still <laughs> a great wig. Now this is a basic cap. So you can see that there's no lace front and there's no um, like mono part. Still, it's okay because I think this wig gives a pretty good natural look. I'm gonna show you how Harlow looks from side to side and in the back, okay? So here is my right side. What do you think? Here, here is my left side. What do you think? And here is, here's the back, the back side. This wig has good movement. She's not stiff. So if you want, you can do a hullabaloo. You can do the swim. You can dance in this. And you can do other activities in it as well. I love the chocolate frost because it's truly, it's truly a great frosted wig. You've got the darker color on the bottom and then it's kind of blonding on the top. So I'm gonna take this one. I haven't worn this one yet. This is the second chocolate frost that I purchased. I'm gonna take the net off and I'm gonna show you how she looks on the inside. 
So here you go. There's some serious permities, which I love. I know a lot of people kind of shy away from permities, but I think the one thing that's great about permities is that it lifts and just kind of balances everything out for you. So here we go. Here's the top, basic, basic. And we have the adjustables over here. There you go. So, I mean, it's pretty much on point for what a basic wig cap is. But here's a better look at the color. See how it's kind of like dark on the bottom and then it gets lighter on the top? Like overall, this is a really good wig. Hold on. Okay, now next is the creamy toffee. And I am gonna try it on. I have not worn her in public yet because the tags are still on. I have worn this Harlow to work a couple of times and it's a great work wig. So let's take this one off and let's put creamy toffee on. Let me take my glasses off so I can adjust this a little bit better. <laughs> okay, so Creamy Toffee is blonde. And this is the issue that I have with blonde wigs. And I shouldn't even really say issue because in real life, she doesn't look as shiny as she's coming off on camera. On camera, a lot of these blonde wigs look like Barbie hair. And I have to say, when I'm not in front of a camera and when I'm just like at home kind of judging or fixing these blonder wigs, they look a lot better. Um, I would definitely though, put some dry shampoo on here just to take out any shine that she has. And one thing that I have learned about blonder wigs, as they age, and they certainly don't age like a person, but after a few wears, they get duller. And I think that's a great thing because most of us don't have shiny bio hair to begin with. We just have kind of like dullish hair or I don't want to say lackluster. Well, actually, you know what? We do have lackluster hair unless we're going to some sort of like beauty salon where they make our hair look perfect. But when you're doing your own hair, it really never looks this shiny. So like, that's it. Let me show you how this creamy toffee looks from side to side in the back, okay? Okay, here is my right side. Here is my left, left side, and here's the back, okay? Now this wig does come in many, many colors. Hold on, I'm gonna put the chocolate frost back on. I do have um, a Noriko Jackson wig in this chocolate frost color. I'll tell you, I think next to Caramel Kiss, this is my favorite color. I love chocolate frost. And I think it probably stems from the fact that my bio hair a long time ago was dark, but as I got older, I kind of lightened it a little bit. So I just, I love this. I love this frosted color. So that's it. I'm going to put the link for Ace Wigs down below simply because I think the company is really good. I get no compensation from this at all. The only thing that I got was a great price on these three wigs. And I know that the company has had like 
two furs plus one free on Raquel Welch wigs on other brands. So I think that they're definitely worth looking into. I didn't wait long for um, these wigs to arrive. I think maybe it was probably about a week and that's fine with me. I don't expect anything the day after. So that's it. Um, I just want to add, if you want to see how wigs look in real life with no filters or no Photoshop, please subscribe to my channel simply because I refuse, I absolutely refuse to use filters. I don't think it's transparent and I'm not that full of myself that I need to make myself look better. It's kind of like what you see is what you're going to get. This is what two weeks shy of 68 years old looks like. So if you can handle looking at an old lady, by all means, please subscribe. And I will see you later. I am going to be working on a blog post later. I will put my link to my blog down below. And um, that's it. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.